Uh, hi everyone, I'm Nicholas. I'm the head of the conservation program at Native Seed Search. Um, and today we're going to be planting some wildflowers. Um, uh, I would recommend the fall for planting wildflowers normally, but we are having a really nice wet winter, so we should be getting enough rain to get some of these uh, native plants established before the springtime and before the summer heat sets on. So um, we're going to experiment with a little different placement of these seeds at different parts in the landscape. So we're just about finished raking and you can see we're not really pulling the soil and scratching it back and forth. I always feel like that really moves too much dirt and we can really conserve the moisture in the soil too if we really just use the rake to kind of crack the crust and just give the seeds a little spot to land. Um, we're going to be planting in a really weedy spot. Uh, this is a place where Bermuda grass is a problem for us. But we're going to take advantage of this site just like the Bermuda grass is. This is obviously a low spot on our property where water gathers. And so hopefully that'll help the wildflowers get better established just from the natural rainfall. Uh, today we are planting the large size of what we call our Southwest native uh, wildflower mix. Um, this big bag will cover about 200 square feet. Um, and we're really excited to get this um, into the little nooks that we've now created for the seeds um, and get them sort of evenly distributed so they all have enough space to grow. Um, wildflower seeds are wild and sometimes it can take them their own sweet time to come up out of the ground. We don't know all of the stimuli that these little seeds are responding to, but you might not see everyone in this mix in the first year, but don't give up hope. So uh, I'm going to divide the quantities of this big bag into like thirds just so that I can get an even spread across without actually having to weigh or count seeds. Um, but it's really important to just, um, just kind of be gentle. You don't want a ton of seeds in one spot and you won't be able to get, um, you won't be able to get every flower in every square inch of the Plot, but that's what makes planting wildflowers so nice. It looks more like a landscape rather than a flower bed. So we're just going to keep sprinkling until the whole bag is gone. So all of the seeds have been sprinkled across our approximately 200 square foot bed. Um, they're nestled under a little bit of mulch from the Bermuda grass that was mowed here uh, earlier in the winter. Um, but we're waiting for rains in the next couple of days. If they don't come in about a week, we probably will water the seeds in just to give them a little bit of a head start. Um, and then we'll just keep our eyes on them. So. Um, We'll give you some periodic updates to see how these wildflowers are doing with some of these invasive weeds that we're trying to tackle here in our conservation center.